There's only a short time left until the audience and the judges arrive. The musicians must organise the finishing touches to their outfits. What? Have I got shit on my face? What? <laughs> I am nervous about singing in front of the judges because singing's not my strong point. Why did I not just iron it? It goes longer when it's been ironed. <laughs> I'm probably going to say now, I'm not nervous and I'm going to be okay, but we'll see. <laughs> Honey having a tantrum could really disrupt things. She tends to just stop when she does something wrong and then stop everyone else. She doesn't uh, consider anyone else and yeah that's going to be a real challenge for us tonight. I've got no fear in performing in front of like 30 people or whatnot. I'm a natural performer and I think realistically if I were bothered about that and I was nervous I wouldn't even dress the way I do. <laughs> I think I'm getting a bit kind of nervous about some of the strumming leg. Most of the time I'm on it but occasionally I get like the little slip or like the finger starts to ache. It's good to be nervous because it means you care about it. Yeah, of course. Can I see? Of course, fucking rock stars. Oh, I love it. I know that my group is going to give absolutely every single thing that they've got. It's something that I've never done before, so um, it is a bit frightening. We've been taking it slowly, so sometimes that's the best thing to do. I'm not that nervous to do performance tonight at the moment, but I would say by the time it happens, I probably will be very nervous. So I have got to play a uh, terrible literally diabolical tune that isn't even um, a thing at the moment, it doesn't even exist, in front of some judges I haven't really gauged what I'm about to delve into. Way too hard. We've been working so hard. We couldn't have like, worked less hard, but I feel totally and utterly exhausted. Yeah. As the bands finish getting ready, the famous judges arrive. First up, it's Kavanagh. With a string of hits in the late 1990s, Kavanagh is both a solo performer and songwriter. A member of the supergroup Fifth Story, he has also appeared on TV shows for MTV, as well as Hollyoaks and Celebrity Big Brother. This is Lindsay from the girl band Bewitched. Recently reunited, the band had its greatest success in the late 1990s, being the first girl band to achieve four continuous number one hits. This is Tony Mortimer. Originally from the boy band East 17, which sold over 20 million records, Tony is now a successful songwriter and producer. He is the writer of the Ivan Avello winning hit single, Stay Another Day. Tension mounts as the audience starts to arrive. The audience is made up of family and friends of the band members. We've had great fun, haven't we? Yeah! I've got people that have never met before, and they've written a song, and they're going to perform it for you this evening. For the first time, the prize Ooh. is two grand. Yeah. Not one! Be split between the winning band. So judges, come on through. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. Tony Mortimer, yeah. Lindsay Armhow from Bewitched, yeah. and Kavanaugh. Yeah. Tony Mortimer, every Christmas you hear that track, Just Stay Another Day. Yeah. This guy wrote that song. This is Tony from E17. Based around three chords. Based around three oh. chords. We've got lovely Lindsay here from Bewitched. Lindsay, yeah. Curran, give it up. Yeah. We witched a back. We are. We're doing lots of gigs and shows, and then we're, as you say, we're writing and recording a new album. Any three quarters in there? There's lots of three quarters in there. <laughs> Kavanaugh. Rita. Oh, I love Kavanaugh. <laughs> Rita Bettina. Um, I used to do your backing vocals. You did. In fact, I did vocals. backing vocals on your first hit record, Crazy Child. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please take your seats and be prepared to be dazzled. Yes! <laughs> Thank you. Can you bring on band one, please? Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Cosmic Airways. Please sit back, fasten your seatbelts, and attempt to relax. Uh, this is going to be, without a doubt, an incredibly chaotic and potentially fatal drama.
I think um, you got into it towards the end and it gelled towards the end. There was nerves at the beginning. Does it have a hit written on it? I'm not sure. <laughs> is that your first time on drums ever? Yeah, yeah. it is. It's yeah. first time it's yeah. 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 I know people that still can't play drums <laughs> after years. You were well fantastic, Hannah. Yeah. Lindsay. You weren't really listening to each other. I think there was a bit of a timing issue. And I think that those are the kinds of things that given more time to rehearse that you could obviously work on. You have charisma, all four of you actually. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah. Canada. Well, I mean, two words for you guys. Come on. Hot mess. Uh, yeah. 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 I love the look. You're all weird. You remind me of like a, a young B-52s getting the whole thing yes. back together, that whole yes. thing. And I thought it was brilliant. song in there somewhere but I to be honest I would not have been able to perform anything with what the guitarist was doing it was it was putting, putting me off a bit I just kept so it must have been throwing you out I would have, I would have just said right let's go with the feet and bass but it's just it's only because of the technique you know that's what happens if you hit one string it goes really loud and it could be 
slightly the wrong note and then it's just going to throw people off. I'm not going to make an excuse. But, um, but, like, I'm not going to make an excuse. No, no, it's good, but it's the first time there's something in there. To get her to come back yeah. into the same yeah, yeah. but obviously I was just standing there doing the same Don't thing. take it personally, No, I wasn't, honey. like, you know, because trying to look... Don't take it personally, it's just constructive it's okay. criticism. It's cool. It's okay. okay. So, so you can come up and do it. When you work, when you work. <laughs> <laughs> oh! very drawn into the song and I think that the, the bare bones of the song it has massive massive potential um, it, so, it was pretty good. We so were really, it I was really I was willing good. you to, to carry on and to finish because I really wanted to hear it yeah. Kavanaugh what did you think to that I willed it to do so, for you to you guys to do so well I mean you're all very different in your dynamics I mean listen you guys aren't professional players um I have to say sorry what's your name again honey honey right. yeah um yeah I don't, I don't know if it's the guitar or maybe it was you, but all we could hear was twang. Yeah. You know I, 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 mean? know, I was doing that on and purpose. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. On purpose. Oh, to get her to come kind of back into the river. Yeah. Oh, oh see, that's true. Perfect. Give it up. Thank you so much, judges. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Band number three. <laughs> <laughs> We write a song for you called Positive Vibes because there seems to be a lot of negativity floating around and we wanted to bring some positive vibes. Yes, yeah. Love it! Yeah. Yeah. I hope you yeah. 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 Take it away! from another planet <laughs> um you know we've got a bit of then jericho going on here we've yes. got whatever this is we've got you know you we've got the six no, but, 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 but together it worked i mean that's just the visual thing but a simple listen three chords it's got to be a simple song you positive vibes we want positive vibes oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah i mean you know what that stuck in that that stuck in my head and yeah. listen, earworm, earworm. Yeah, earworm. Earworm. Because yeah. you know what? It's good to have positive vibes. Yes. So I loved it. I thought it was really good. Okay. Guys, give it up for the fantastic judges. That first one, really. I mean, I loved that one. Did you? Yeah. I did, yeah. 
What I would like to do is put the £2,000 back into the band. It was just punky, as you said, and then yeah. it was ballsy. And For me, they weren't listening to each other, so they didn't gel. They but the, to me, time. that's what made it interesting. Really? Yeah. No. I really want to win this £2,000 because I want to take my daughter, Lavender, on the best holiday she's ever been on. It's two personal song for her for the first time and I think they could have been a contender. I was really able to yeah. connect to that, right. but at the end of the day, you know, if the song hasn't been shown to us in full, it's very yeah. difficult to judge it. Yeah. I kind of liked number three before they even played. I think like we've got a really good song, we've got a cool little hook in there, it's kind of it's catchy, like it's stuck in my head now. I'm like talking to you and I'm kind of singing it in my head. They look like a band. They they had all... stage yeah, they yeah. had individualism and I like that. I like when people are a bit out yeah. there and stuff and they had that. It made me feel like dancing Energized. actually. I wanted to get yeah. up and just. I could hear that produce probably in the studio. Like, yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. And everywhere you looked on stage, I think you got your money's worth. I don't want to be overly confident or not confident at all, so I'm just chilling. <laughs> Who's going to win it then? Got the judges coming back. We're going to announce our winners. Yes. So, have you made your decision, judges? <laughs> and it wasn't that straightforward, really, because they were so different. But um, we were sort of we was all in agreement at the end. It took a while. It took a while. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It yeah, did take sure. a while. I had my favourite. And then yes, you had your favourite. was between two for me. Why did you choose your winner? What, what, in, sum it up in a couple of sentences. What is it about the winner, to, the winner for you tonight? They had everything for us. The song had a great hook. We remembered the song. We did. We were singing the song. Um, it was close. Two bands were in it. Number two and number three. And number two, had they continued, they could have given them a run for their money. But the winner is because they, they looked great and they sounded okay. No, this <laughs> <laughs> is good. It is good. I'm joking. It's a joke. They looked and sounded great, so the winner for us is Triumph for the stereotypes. Maybe they have a long and successful future together. That spin off series on tour with the stereotypes. Thank That's you. That's right. <laughs> Everybody, if you follow us on um, social media, we will keep you up to date with any upcoming uh, gigs that we've got on the books. You know. Keeping up with the Watch this space, yeah? Watch this space. <laughs> It's been a tough and emotional weekend. As to whether it's possible to write a hit song with three chords in one weekend, well, the jury is still out. Ready for the tour. The amateur musicians go home. Perhaps one or two of them have started on a path to become real musicians. Or perhaps not. Only time will tell.